welcome back everybody welcome if you are new today we're in the xfinity series here at daytona we got 30 laps here i was the last car number here number 24 so i decided not to qualify we're going to start dead last pretty much and see how it works out for us but my voice isn't all the way back yet it's uh it's still getting there but it's a lot better than it was so i decided to do this race and just have some fun with it be a nice warm up for the 500 i'm going to do this weekend so let's get right into it All right, we're coming off turn four here. Hopefully, we can have a nice clean race, 30 laps. We, we barely, barely made top split. I know we're top split at least, but uh, there was about like a little bit over 200 people that registered to do this. So, a bunch of people registering to do Daytona like normal. I imagine the 500 that I'm going to do on Saturday will be a ton as well. I want to try to get to this outside lane quick. Try to move up through the field if we can. Bottom just gets checked up way too much for me. I don't like it too much down there ever. Always like the uh, outside lines. But yeah, if I still sound a little weird, that's because uh, my voice is still coming back a little bit from either being sick or just losing it. Not 100% sure. It was really weird, but I'm okay. We're fine. Just didn't have a voice really much for a couple days there. But we're moving past that. A couple guys drop to the back here. I'm going to unmute these guys. They'll probably be just trying to strategize with each other. Some. Get down to the bottom for now while I'm kind of far away from them. Once we get back to the pack, I'll move back up to the outside. But with us being the last car number, we have a really good opportunity of gaining some eye rating here, which is awesome. Don't get this kind of opportunity much, so... Don't worry, Jaden. I'm trying to pay you back for how good you pushed me yesterday. <laughs> Gotta try to take advantage of our low car number, at least. Try to use the uh, slingshot a little bit there. Have a little bit of help behind me. Not much in front of me. But we may just need to get back down to catch back up to the pack. Definitely don't want to lose the lead pack. So, may have to do that. Might just let off a little bit here, get back down to the bottom. Because the more we're side by side, the slower we're going to be. Definitely don't want to lose the pack. That would be really bad. That's the only problem with starting in the back, is uh, potentially losing the pack there. Kind of left the guy behind me out to dry a little bit, but he can get right behind the guys behind us. I think he'll be all right. Just had to try to push the uh, 20 car Is anybody here back else's forward. Water tent getting high already. Well, if you're pushing, you are. That's why I had the little dashed up down there by the um, relative. I can see my oil and water temp a lot easier, rather than seeing the dials there on the left. <clears throat> but we're just chilling right now. We're in 18th. That's not bad. This 20 car wants to go outside. Okay, that guy is going outside behind us. Lines are pretty built up, which is good, but he's not going to have their draft at the top, which is the main thing. That's the reason I didn't jump back up there again. But he has one guy helping him behind. They might be able to get up to that pack on the top side. But yeah, you see the bottom just check up a ton. The top side guys are just flying by. But if there's one big one... It's gonna happen sooner or later, and just gotta watch out for it. I'm gonna try to get up top of these guys. They're rolling pretty good right now. But yeah, I'm gonna run the NIS race uh, Saturday at noon Eastern time. If anybody else wants to try to join up with me, there's gonna be a million people. There's gonna be a million people registering for it, so it'd be really tough to get into the same lobby unless like you're almost exactly on my I rating. You have to be really close to it. Right now, I'm like 3370 something, I think, which isn't too bad. A lot of people built up in this outside lane right now. Just chilling at the moment. Trying to watch out for the wrecks at least, too. Guys behind me are a little, have fallen back a little bit. Because the Home Depot car 
doesn't have any pushing him anymore. He has one guy behind him, and if they lose the pack, that's going to really suck for them. We are still in the very, very back, so we got to watch out for that. But we still got the draft plenty right now. Those guys are catching up as well. These guys in the bottom are falling off some. Another one got to the bottom. 22 is trying to side draft him or something, I guess. Moving on up. Slowly just pushing our way forward. Not really doing anything too crazy right now either. These cars get a big uh, draft too, so you can really slingshot a decent amount. That bottom side is getting very, very thin. Like, not many cars down there, I should say. Not thin as in like a groove, but just they're slowly deteriorating on the bottom. No, I'm gonna go to the bottom. As much as I hate the bottom, there's just not many cars down here. Might be able to make up a couple of positions. The outside is very fast, though. Working the outside. Still there outside. This guy getting the apron scares me a little bit. But yeah, I'm excited to run the 500. I haven't done it in a few years, at least, so. It'll be fun to get back doing an NIS race, really, really long race, trying to survive it. 250 laps here. They only do a handful of full-length NIS races through the year. Daytona is one of them. I want to say Bristol. Well, there used to be two Bristols, and the night Bristol one was a 500-lap race. Uh, Darlington might be. Now they have multiple Darlingtons. It might just be the throwback one. I'm not sure. Trying to think of all of them. So I think road course races are 100% potentially. I can't quite remember. They might have changed the the criteria of which ones get 100% because there's a lot of road course races now. So I don't think they're doing that many a year. 100%. Able to move up a couple of positions there. Get back to the outside. I'm happy with that. The 11 car here pulled up as well. There. Nearly getting to the top 10 now, which is kind of crazy. This 11 car is like not Clear. fully on the throttle or anything. He is okay. I don't know what Still he is there. doing, but if he's trying to fall back, that was a sketchy way of doing it. If you're going to fall back, just drop on the apron on the back stretch. You can get right back up. I didn't like that he was just like half throttle in line and I didn't know what he was doing because I didn't want to wreck him. Luckily there was no car below us. Got kind of lucky in that situation. Getting up to the top 10 now. We do have a lap car coming up which is always sketchy. The lap car should go all the way up to the wall. Like 99% of the time that's what they should do. Just go on the outside three wide. If they stay bottom it's going to get very very sketchy through here and that might cause a wreck. We'll see. Okay, he's out on the wall now. Just gotta hold the middle. You can go three wide easy here. Even through these corners. As long as he holds out there by the wall, he'll be fine. Hey, what the does the uh, oil overheat? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about that, actually. That's a good question. 267, that's when it starts getting hot. Hmm. 267, that's when it starts getting hot. Good to know. Thank you, Justin. J Bo in here. He's I think he's car number two it said. He's a very high high rating. He does a lot of oval racing. He's really good. But they telling anybody can win. Still just chilling on this outside lane. Luckily everybody got by that lap car clean. Lap eleven in. We're flying through this race right now, which is great. Caution laps would really slow up this race, which I don't want happening. Front car on the top's getting to the bottom. That's kind of just how it cycles. Like the guy up front in the top lane drops down, then just rotates around the top guy. The first guy on the top lane usually gets by and then drops to the bottom. That's what normally happens. And then they just slowly fade back on the bottom. That's why I like to just stay up top at that in that situation if uh, I can. The only thing is the guy behind you pushing, if you're the first car, car is getting really hot trying to push you, so you guys might start slowing up some, which sucks. So, it is a good but bad thing at the same time. 
because the guy you drop down in front of has a clean motor and is able to get up there and push you then. So it's kind of like a pros and cons thing. Depends. Because the top lane will surge again. It takes a couple laps, but it definitely does. But the bottom just has nowhere to go. Like, they just kind of get shuffled back slowly from the top lane. When everybody's running it right and pretty tight like this, nobody can really slip up in front of you. Oh, he got into him a little bit. That looks sketchy. It's whoever is in front of the 17 got tapped. Guy behind me wants to take it three wide. He has no help, so he's just going to be stuck out there and be right back behind me. They got a little sketchy in front of the 17. 22 is trying to make something happen though. 36 got that that apron, which is terrifying. He's falling off a little bit and checking up. Still there. 22 is still right behind me. He was probably just seeing if anybody else would jump out there with him or something. I imagine. It's a little early to start going three wide though, I feel like. I don't think you need to push the issue this early. We're not even halfway. We're nearly halfway, but not yet. The inside line's doing pretty well right now, though. A lot of just little checkups down the straights. Because I don't want to push a pusher, and then they're pushing more people. It's like, you never want to push unless, like, you're the very second guy in line. If you're any further back, you just want to be pretty tight. There, you don't want to be inside. tapping them because that will really screw up some things. Get some wheels off the ground, start spinning out people, and that's when the big wrecks happens. Definitely got to be careful when with the checkups when people start getting out of line too like that. Because I could have stayed in it, probably gotten the left rear of the 17. 36 is pushing his way up there into line. That was very sketchy. Let the 17 get back down here. 26 is going to get a run on me now. Or 22, I mean, from behind. He checks up again. I don't know where the 36 thinks he's going, but he wanted to get off that bottom lane, which I don't blame him. I let off a little bit too much there on exit. Sorry about that. Oh, big check up. Everybody's wiggling around. I'm just hoping if there's a wreck, it's going to go down, not up. But most of the time, it's going to go up, and you have nowhere to go if you're in the top lane a lot of the time. That's the only bad thing about being up here. But the outside lane does move. It's very, very fast. But I'm very happy we're 16 laps in already with no cautions. Because starting out in the back, you never know how that's going to work out for you. And so far, it's been great for us. I'm happy about it. Pretty much in the top half, we're still in, everybody's still in the top, uh, draft, like, bundle pack, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's still here besides that one guy that got left, who probably started on the pits to, uh, try and avoid a big wreck early on, but it didn't happen. Oh, that was close up there on the bottom side, it looked like to me. Oil and water doing fine. We're not pushing on anybody right now, so we're just chilling. We're like fifth in line up top, I think. Something like that. This race may play out pretty well for us if there's no cautions. With the way it cycles around, we might be all right up top by the end of this, like towards the front, which would be really nice. Actually, we might be sixth in line. Everybody's no, holding their line pretty well. There's a little wiggle in here and there, but that's kind of normal. But nobody's really pinching each other too hard. We're not that late in the race yet. 30 laps is pretty pretty short of a race. Now some people are starting to pinch as I said that. I saw the orange car, the first of our line, really pinching the bottom side. Trying to check up the bottom lane. See, you can see the backfire of everybody just letting off slightly. 
Things are starting to heat up though. Just gotta pray for no net code to really ruin somebody's race. I think if you have a long enough race in these, I don't think these 30 laps are long enough for this, but like for your tires to really start getting loose and start getting loose through the trial, that's terrifying when you start getting loose in the trial. I hate that in cars. This race may not be long enough for that, but who knows? I'm not 100% sure. Our windshield is getting quite dirty though. Back here in all the dirty air. Oh, guy behind me jumped up really fast. He really wanted to get to that outside lane. This top lane is moving right now. Pretty sure we're in the top 10 right now. Crossing the line. First time all race. Yep, we are a 10th at that moment. Got 11 laps left though. Now I think we're fifth in line. Yeah, we're fifth in line right now. This 36 is getting way too wide. He's gonna get left out the drive three wide. It looks like. Goodbye. That guy in the bottom is sketching me out though. Not below me, up here. So you can go three wide, no problem. You just gotta be confident with it. Now I'm fourth in line up top, unless somebody up there jumps ahead of us. Like jumps up from the bottom lane, which could happen. Oh, oh. That was close. 15 in the four here on the inside of us. Got checked up some, and the four car almost came up into the 17. That was sketchy. Guy behind me got back down to the bottom because we all started checking up a little bit on exit. I guess he freaked out and uh, just got low instead of backing off enough. Oh, big checkup up front. Looked like somebody was about to go around. This guy's gonna get shuffled back now, which is unfortunate for the 14. Everything's ramping up now. Oh, people are getting loose everywhere. Not loose, but like squirreling around. This is very, very sketchy. Less than 10 laps now, though. People are going for it. Like, if a, if a line starts to form in the third lane, I honestly would not mind being the leader of that. But at the same time, it's very, very sketchy. Because anybody can just pull out. They're trying to start it, it looks like. They're definitely trying to form something up there. It's just very, very sketchy. Because you're right up on that wall. One little mistake and there's going to be a wreck from everybody just running you over. Would it mind being the leader of it? But I'm going to stay here. Alright, everybody just got to be calm. Nice and steady. We're stuck three wide now. Nothing we can do about it. If there's a wreck, we're in it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> but I love this kind of racing. You gotta be so smooth and steady. I'm just hoping one of the top guys doesn't get the wall and it causes a chain reaction for a big wreck. Cause that's the, that's the worst thing. Because three wide is tight at Daytona, but you can do it. It's not a problem. You can definitely do it. And in, in Talladega, it's much easier. It's much wider at Talladega. It's easy. Yeah, there's really only two of them working up there. There's no, oh, that guy got the wall. That 14 car did get the wall there. They're slowing up a little bit. Either he got the wall or checked up from the 36 checking up. I'm not 100% sure. But they definitely got slowed up. I'm getting pushed, and I'm really not hardly on the throttle. I'm trying not to get into the back of the 17. This thing is getting a little light on us now. It's just so sketchy. 
This is either going to be an amazing, amazing race to the finish or one massive crash. And I could not tell you which one's going to happen. Just so much focus trying to hold my line. I'm honestly shocked nobody in the middle lane is jumping to that third lane. Oh my god, what a race. This is crazy. Coming up to five laps left. This middle lane's checking up a ton. Yeah, through the trial was very sketchy through wide. Oh, four cars getting to the middle now. I did not like that. I checked up a lot because I did not want to run into the back of him. We're just getting sucked on both sides. So, oh, there it is. There's the wreck. As long as we don't hit the inside wall, we're all right. Oh, that guy's backing up. Okay, nope, we're fine. I honestly don't think we have much damage. I honestly don't think we have much damage. Oh, but we have required damage to fix. How, how do we have a meatball flag? We really didn't hit much. Car is not driving completely straight, it looks like. It honestly doesn't feel that bad. Like, I could drive this. I just don't know what our RPMs are. I have to check our RPMs. Pretty much. That was nuts there. Absolutely crazy. I knew it was coming sooner or later, and it, I knew it was going to start up front, and it just nowhere to go. But I don't think we got too much damage, honestly. It says we have a meatball flag at the top left, unfortunately. And that's the black flag with the, the orange meatball in the middle. That's what I'd call a meatball flag. I think most people do. But uh means you have required damage to fix. I don't know how hey, much. 11, are you dead? But I'm really hoping that... We don't have too much damage. What's our RPMs at? On the dash, we're still reading 2,000, so our engine's fine. Do I got nose 14? Our engine is 100% fine, which is great. Go! Gonna need to take uh, tires here. I'm not gonna take fuel, because we don't need to wait on that at all. Just need to get the car fixed as much as possible. So we're coming around right now. I think it's still going to be under pacing for one more lap and then maybe two to green. So I'm going to come in, get as much damage as I can fixed and uh, see where we're at after that. I hope it's not too long required. Now you're good. Oh, it's eight minutes required. Oh, I'm screwed. That's unfortunate. Zip what even how are we doing? What even happened there then? Like, how do I have that much damage? Your life, right? Like, I just want to see. Yeah. Where are all my damages? Where's rear chase? Where is rear? There's chase, far chase. Where's rear chase? Okay, that's messed up. I don't even have that much damage though. Cause like what even happened there? I don't know where we really got a lot of damage from. To have eight minutes required. It was probably that on the left side is my guess. Just everything from the left side just got pancaked basically but really that didn't damage our car too much and then he bounced back into us slightly right there like if this is eight minutes required like that's ridiculous like this guy has no front end at all i want to see what started that big wreck because there was literally only five laps left i knew it was coming sooner or later Oh, what just happened there? That guy got like sent up. That was weird. Okay, how are we gonna find this? It was the right here. This guy just got shot right. That's a that's some really bad net code. That's super unfortunate for everybody involved. Cause that was a huge blow to me. Where are we on the standings? 20th now? Jeez. And we can't get out yet, can we? No, nope. we still have seven minutes required. Pace cars going by us now. So we're basically done for this race, unfortunately. There's only three laps left. Looks like we're probably going to finish towards the back. I know that, but that was a massive, massive wreck, unfortunately, but it was some good racing. Like people were holding it three wide. Amazing. It's just the net code between these two just absolutely killed it. And I don't even know what happened. That's just so weird. He just got shot straight right. And then there was nowhere for anybody to go. 
only the guys like in the front on the bottom got by. That was pretty much it. Cause I got hit down from the seven. The 20 car missed me and then this guy just didn't miss me, unfortunately. Yeah, he wasn't on the brakes enough to slow up for it and just didn't turn. Well, he was turning pretty hard to get out of the way, but I just got shot left from the seven, which is unfortunate. He definitely blew his motor. That's 100% fact. So he definitely blew motor from hitting that. I would imagine he blew his motor, right? No, he doesn't have a blow motor. That's crazy if not. But yeah, we had a great race up until that point. That was a lot of fun. Uh, these guys are still going under pacing, I believe. We still have like five minutes left. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get back out by the time the, the race goes green to finish again, which is unfortunate. So looks like we're going to probably end up 20. Oh, we're 22nd now. That's unfortunate, but still going to lose some I rating. I don't know how much. I, I'm just going to finish the video out here. So I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, we don't have the results yet because there's still a couple laps left, but appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.